Hello, everybody. This is very interesting, don't you think? Wait, tragic. This isn't... this isn't tanks. You're right. This is warplanes. Warplanes are awesome. If you guys don't know, Warplanes did have an update very, very recently to World of Warplanes 2.0. Er, uh, I don't know why I said 2.2. .2. Uh, I'm a little sleepy. Uh, uh, I had a very interesting ride into work this morning. Uh, I got very wet, which is why I'm wearing this blanket around myself. So, if you guys don't know, I have a bomber. I'm gonna go play it. Uh-huh. Wargame North and Mor- North America? North America? Yes. Yes, sir, you would be correct. Flying things? Yes, flying things. I'm ready to fly or take flight. So am I, A Force. So I'm gonna be playing a bomber. Bombers generally kind of like hang out and go to different uh, points on the map and just bomb the crap out of them. <coughs> I might need to reload this. No problem, Fred Jack. No problem. But yes, this is the first simulcast for World of Warplanes that we're doing. Uh, this is going to kick off numerous ones. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, World of Warplanes on Thursdays. I know some of you guys are like, oh my god, Good tragic. Luck. You know, what, what, why didn't, why are we doing tanks today? Well, because we're doing Warplanes now. That's what, that's what we're doing the Warplanes. Can I bomb your bomber? Uh, no, you're not allowed. Play premium planes? Will do, Saracen. Will do soon as I load it. Alright, so, since I am a bomber, I'm just gonna basically go to different, uh, yeah, so I'll go to the military blaze base, and then I'm gonna attack it. Uh, there's not really any other ones that need my, uh, need my, uh, uh what's it called? My, my attention. I have not played in a year. Has it changed much? Well, Fred Jack, yes it has. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. So as you see on the map, there are a bunch of different points that you that you can see. There's that uh, factory. There's the um, there's uh, the the military base. So basically, each point has a different kind of like I guess like power up that it does and so you need to capture each point and you want to have the most amount it's kind of like in world of warships where you can capture different points and the more points that you have captured all at once the uh more i guess uh the more uh what's it called the more points that you get over time and basically you want to get to uh how many ever points is needed to fulfill your destiny of winning the game. So we're gonna wait until that turns yellow. Drop a bunch of bombs. And drop a bunch of bombs on that one as well, and that one. And then we're gonna turn a little bit, we're gonna drop some bombs on that as well, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna take off. Because we do not need any of this AA fire. Go away. I'm gonna wait for my bombs to respawn. We're gonna hope that if anything, uh, avoid this guy. If I can kill him. No. Nope. Alright. Burn. We're gonna do this, alright? I 
like the teeniest guns. Okay, so I have an enemy on my tail. So I'm gonna. Wait one second. I can bomb the crap pecky out of this guy. And we're gonna keep going. Uh. Did I do what? I can't see the oh I can't see the chat for Facebook. All right, let's let's go through some of the uh, some of the chat real quick. Um, <laughs> cranky, that's really funny. Yeah, 2.0 changed uh, a lot of stuff with uh, World of Warplanes, including adding a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Like, if you guys haven't noticed, there's a lot of stuff that's in the game now. Also, what is that guy? There's just like a guy. Motorcycle. Look at this guy. 
So, guys. World of, world of Warplanes has people in it. Neat. Alright. Cool. We're going to continue with the bomber stuff. Alright. Uh, yes, I am... Am I doing well stat-wise? I don't know. I don't, how do you know what my stats are? <laughs> I think I'm doing kind of bad. I, I've been losing a lot of games, unfortunately. Uh, what setup are you using? What do you mean, what setup? On my plane? Mm. Is World of Warplanes linked with what? Meaning gold and premium time? Yes. So World of Warplanes and World of Tanks are fully uh, cross uh, interfacing uh, they're, they're, they're together with uh, premium time, uh, gold, and with uh, free XP. So keep that in mind. Oh, keybinds on the keyboard? I'm just using my standard setup. Hey, Huber Jazz, what's up? Uh, when is this coming to consoles? Or on consoles? I don't know. There's a huge future left in front of us. Who knows? It might, it might end up on console someday. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the you command center. The combat zone. Uh, Get ready for battle. Good luck. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're gonna go to the command center. Yeah, World of Warships and World of Warplanes only share premium time, though. Hey, Hubert. Glad to see you on both sides. Uh. Dude, you should definitely give it another go, Rob. Like, a lot of stuff has changed, which is really awesome. What is the one thing you like most about World of Warplanes? Um, I don't know. Like, for me, I like that it's pretty arcadey. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for someone like me who has never played a, uh, a flight sim before. Uh, it's super easy to pick up, which is awesome. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's go. Hey, what's up, 27, 247 Survival? How are you? Uh, dude, awesome! That's really awesome. I'm glad you got into the game. You should definitely try uh any of any and all of board gaming products. I play all of them, and I enjoy every single one of them. All right, Whoop. we're gonna bomb the heck out of these things. All right, we're gonna line up. We're gonna bomb, bomb. Like, it makes sense, because I'm a bomber, and I shouldn't really be using, like, guns for things. But it'd still be nice to be able to defense myself from anything other than, like, a rear uh, gunner's perspective. I definitely have difficulty defending myself as a bomber. Which, like, it's kind of understandable. Like, I shouldn't have to defend myself. Like, I should be able to rely on my team to defend me, but still. Dude, no worries, 247. I'm just really bad at reading all the time. Here, I'm gonna... Whoop! I'm gonna lift that up. That way I can uh, read stuff. <clears throat> uh, sometimes World of Warplanes has better deals on Gold and Premium, which is really awesome. I like it. I like it. I'm around 60% win rate. Jeez! How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. That's pretty awesome. Glad. But I still feel like I'm not, like, actually doing super well. I just feel like I'm super lucky. Turret action. Now I can defend myself with the rear gunner. Yes! Oh my god, yes. <laughs> the rear gunner is probably the best addition that I've seen to, like, bombers for World of Warplanes. It's really, really awesome. Multi-rolls, yes. Hook <laughs> over skill. No, like, I feel like... For me personally, a lot of the battles that I played uh, were battles that I played a really long time ago when uh, World of Warplanes was still in, like, not 2.0. But since 2.0 has changed a lot of stuff, I'm glad that I get to get back into the game and, and 
focus on learning new mechanics. Roll in this game, I can only do an Aileron roll. It's easy enough. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, this is an Aileron. I can't pronounce that roll. A barrel roll, however, is basically you kind of like go around in a cylinder sort of shape, like this. Or, I don't know. I can't show it because I clearly do not have the skills to do that. Um, but no, like, uh, 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 if you guys didn't know, a barrel roll isn't actually what you think it is. If you were ever confused about what a barrel roll is, I just confused you more probably. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. Alright, we're gonna... Be advised, the enemy is concentrating forces near the airfield. Oh, hello. Come on. You're... Oh. Great job today. I was like, he's gonna super we'll die. Back home. What tier am I doing? This is tier six. But like, I'm also playing bombers, which I feel like for me is super awesome. <laughs> I really like the bombers. <coughs> Uh, to be B17 or B24. So, uh, Dean, there's always the possibility that in the future more planes uh, like the B17 and B24 would be added. Like, don't don't restrict yourself. There's always possibilities. Always, always, always. Yeah, exactly. Kawia Vader. V I I'm gonna call you Kiwi. Is that fine? Uh, Kiwi says, the best way to think of a barrel roll is like fi flying in a corkscrew. Yes, yes, that is exactly uh, what you need to think of it as. Um, I'm going to try and attack aircraft. So someone told me to play premium aircraft, so I will be playing premium aircraft. I don't know who asked me to. Um, actually, no. I'm going to do that. Okay. Alright, neat. And we're gonna put some stuff on here as well. An Imelman turn? Uh, I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna say no, must because um, I'm not the greatest at the game. So I am still learning a lot. Uh, cool, I have bombs and I have rockets. Neat, I like it. Um, I want. That sounds like a good one. That also sounds like a good one. I don't have a rear gunner. I might want to do flaps. Sure, I'm gonna do flaps. Let's do that. Okay, neat. Radar? Uh, yeah, so currently the only bombers that are in the game right now are bombers that you can earn by that you can get by earning tokens, and so tokens you can you can earn through uh, completing missions, which is really awesome. Um, barrel roll is good for slowing airspeed and getting behind a plane on your tail. Ooh, that's awesome. That was a better barrel roll than I can do, uh, David. I have I mm, uh, oh I think oh wait there we go. Roger that. Cover Very effective when you Hit the enemy, and we yeah, shall win. definitely. Uh, can you, uh, Jed, ooh, is that like Jedi Jiu-Jitsu? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu! Ju um, Jed Jiu-Jitsu. 
I can't say your name really fast, so I'm sorry. Um, do, can you explain what that kind of uh, uh, maneuver is called? The ML men turn? Okay. You so, are approaching the front line. Off uh, we go. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess this is the one we're going to. Well, actually, it might be a better idea to go this way and not run my plane into that hole. Jet Jitsu. I know, I just, your name, like, it's super easy, but it's like a tongue twister for me. Mostly because I'm really bad at pronouncing things anyways, so. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's let's go, boys. We got this. All right, we're gonna rock it. The military base is under our control. Get ready to support the attack. Wow, that, uh, that was easy. Okay. Neat. All right, where's this, uh, ha, Fletcher. Neat, okay. Um, I don't have the airspeed to do this, and I can't, like, boost up there. I'm gonna slowly incline. What? How am I already still? Okay. Don't shoot the pyramids. I'll try not to. It's like vertical 180. Oh, okay. But a great trick to help against the enemy. Awesome. Um, if you could like find an explanation, like don't link it in chat because Nightbot will definitely uh, chat ban you for that, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, this guy. Saving circles. That's the one thing I miss. Flying tanks with wings. I am. I'm enjoying it as well. Air supremacy achieved. There we go. Finally. Jeez, that guy took forever to kill. Now we're gonna go this way. So, as uh, an attack aircraft, by the way, this this triangly thing indicates that I am an attack aircraft. I should defend uh, the points that you see that I have been going back to as you've been watching me as I keep going back to kill people who keep attacking my bases and stuff. get closer to the people that you've been doing that. So you'll do more damage, I believe. This person's name is Ellie Golding. 
I don't think you're actually like the singer. Dude. Hey, we went. All right. We're waiting for your return. Uh, is there any special things for playing the alpha beta? Uh, as in, did I receive things for playing it, or what? Let's see. Uh, if you have a biggie on your six, just hit the brakes and pull up, because it'll cause them to overshoot. I learned that from Top Gun. Nice. Okay. Neat. Um, I think a lot of these people, I think the only bots are one, two, three, four on our team. Or these might actually be real people. I think these are actually real people. Some people just have weird names. Like, all these people are real. Or most of them, at least. Um... Oh, okay. Um, what are some tanks that I have from Alpha? Uh, this one. This one's definitely from Alpha. It's a, <laughs> it's a prop plane with rocket boosters. Uh, I can play that for you. It's really funny. That one named Tragic Loss is a known bot. I know, right? You have six bots. There we go. Six bots. That's three on each team. Not bad. How can you tell if they're bots? Usually they have like really standard names like George. So if there's one named like George, it's uh definitely. Yeah, see there you go. The uh the biz was closed beta. You are entering the combat zone. Get oh. ready for battle. Good luck. If it shows a plus next to their name, they are a real person. If you can't add them as a friend, it's a bot. There you go. Bam. Alright, so I am a fighter. Uh, should I go here? I need to defend. So we'll go here and then defend. Yeah? Yeah. We'll go to the mil military base and defend. Alrighty. Cool. We're gonna, we're gonna go east and we're gonna go to the military base. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. Okay. See, it has little rocket boosters on it. Look how cute it is. Ah, I love it. Okay. <laughs> the boost doesn't last very long, though, which kind of stinks. But it does have, like, a ridiculous rate of fire. Like, look at this. Wah! How low can you go? Oh boy. I wish I could, like, be in a real airplane that was doing this. I feel like that would be really fun. Whoop. Okay, someone's on my tail. Yeah. This guy. Oh, he is there. Okay. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. Oh, uh, no! It. Connect boom boom. Ah, you are a real person. Ah. 
Let's see. Uh, mage, which change is coming up? New plane lines being added, etc. Uh, was hoping for lights to be expanded to three people. Um, uh, I don't know of any major changes, but uh, definitely stick around, mostly because like. The enemy is launching uh, rockets at us from the military base. They took action. Dude, I was sp I spent so much time on that one. Uh, well, at least we have the other one. I guess we can like. Oh no. Let's let's go defend one of the bases. So we're gonna go to that one. Right? Well, you guys can't see it, but we're gonna go to here because we need to defend this. Um, but no, I would also like to have um, three-person flights. I don't know why it's only two-person. That's super weird. Nice! He just installed Total War Arena. That's awesome. Glad. I hope you have fun. It's definitely a super fun game. I'm, like, not super good at it. I've never played any other Total War game, which is unfortunate. Oh, this plane is so maneuverable. Did you see that? He was trying to outmaneuver me, and he couldn't. Peppering, I get. <gasps> Can we like not crash into each other, guys? <laughs> Please. I I would be very grateful to not die by uh, bashing my face into someone else. Uh, James, my mom does know where I'm at. I'm 23 years old, and I'm also a girl. If you're wondering why my voice is so high. Compared to most 23 year olds, I am a girl. <laughs> oh my god, if you crash into the very, very top, top of the really big pyramid, it'll unlock it <laughs> as flat guns. Trust me, I read it on the World of Warplanes forum. Oh, I totally trust you. <laughs> I totally trust you with that one. Okay, so this guy is definitely not a bot, so that means we need to kill him. I'm always more afraid of people. God, this little biplane. Oh, line so of great. I love this. Soon be unable to provide he has a lot of issues when we're going to be coming from a hotel in the UK at the moment. Dude, no worries, cranky old English dude. Confirmed sight. girl on the Keep internet. True! Uh, I'm really sorry about that, uh, Moloch. There is, I mean, you could always join Wargaming North America servers. Yeah? Or sorry, Moloch. I don't know why I said Ice Dragon's name. Look at all these birds. Oh, you can't see him if you zoom in. That makes me sad. Oop, wait, hold on. Where are you going, sir? There's a Where are you going? Here. Unable to proceed. Return into base. Do you copy? Yeah, I insisted. Oh my god, girls, where? I don't know, dude. Don't ask me. I have no idea where there are girls at. Whoa! 
Oh, it just got dark in here. Woo. I got this. Woo! Yeah. Oh, I need. I need coverage. I'm cold. Okay. Woo. Let's get out of the way of a fire. And see what's around. Okay, I can't maneuver anymore. So. Boost a little bit again. Get some shots on that guy. Now we're gonna turn around. Neat! We got this back. Yay! Okay. Yay! We win! Um, let's see. Tragic your stream elements. Basically, the important parts. I'm so sorry. Uh, the reason why I cover up the mini map, and I guess I can uncover it for, for this stream. Um, <laughs> Uh, I usually cover up the minimap because, um, uh, because, uh, uh, I, I get stream snipers sometimes and they'll follow my stream to, uh, to, to kill me and that just makes it unfair for not only me but also, like, my team. So my team, like, gets, ooh, wait, hold on, I wanna, no, uh, uh fine. Let's see what things I can get. Um, what? Uh, ooh. Ooh. That's really cool. Ooh. <laughs> do I want to have an even more maneuverable plane? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh! Okay, I, w I kinda wanna play this more again. Um, did Meathead turn off the lights so he could sleep off Thanksgiving dinner? Yes. Dude, no problem, James. Like, so sometimes people, like, make jokes and I don't know that they're jokes, and then other times people are actually mean and it's, like, super not nice. So I try to make sure that people are aware of what's going on. But yeah. Mech that Robert. rocket powered biplane, even more of a gymnast. Dude, this plane is so much fun. I love it. I, I, I forgot how much I love this plane. Like, I think. Hold on. Let's see. I don't know if I can see how many battles I had in this plane, like, before. Uh. Before the thing. Um. That makes me sad. Oh, archive. Oh, what? S oh, okay. Um. So this is the previous. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. That right. Um. Yes. So if you guys want to look at that, here you go. So you guys can look at my stats there. Um, I apparently played 20 games in this. But that also made up most of that. A lot of the other planes that I played, I was trying to get through a line. So, Ooh, sure. Guys, I'll add you on, on planes, definitely. If you guys want to add me on planes, I will add you on planes. Mostly because my friends list is very empty, so. <coughs> if I say something, it's a joke. You seem good at taking a joke and enjoy a corny laugh. So making a joke, like th every little thing she does is tragic song. <laughs> Dude, everything I do is very tragic. David says, yes. I don't know what you're saying yes to. But you should add me on World of Warplanes. <laughs> Anyone remember the flying saucers in World of Warplanes? Dude, I remember them! I freaking love that mode. Oh, I miss that so much. Like, so much. <laughs> well, that's plain to see. Hey, pun time. What's up? You would, but you're EU. Dude, 
It's okay. We we will accept our EU Cover brethren into the, the wargaming North America servers. Yeah. I still like that torpedo joke that Nico did on you. That was funny. <laughs> Dude, okay, so for those of you who don't know, we have like multiple streams, and one of the streams that I was doing I was playing World of Warships, and um, our community uh, uh, manager for uh, World of Warships, Nico, he walked up behind me and he hid in the corner holding the torpedo. Uh, from World of Warships, and he like snuck up on me, like legitimately, Cut. and I didn't even see Get him. Ready for and he scared the Let's junk go. out of me. Pancakes still exist, dude. Yes, yes. Dude, we're never gonna sell this torpedo. Torpedo is amazing. <laughs> Your cultural hero is Grumpy Cat. That's awesome. We will never sell the torpedo. Do you use TeamSpeak at all? Uh, James, I don't use TeamSpeak, uh, mostly because uh, with streaming at work, uh, I understand, like, I trust a lot of people in my chat to, like, not be a, a jerk on stream. But the thing is, like, my, the people that I bring on can't guarantee that um, their surroundings will be safe. And so that that worries me. Everything else is fine. So maneuverable! Woo! We took this. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! I love this plane! It's so much fun! was super awesome. That was probably honestly my favorite game mode for World of Tanks. Like even over any of the like 8-bit modes and whatnot. Like with World of Tanks, I f I so love Chappy Racing. I won so I had a, a win streak of I think 29 and like oh my goodness. Okay, so this guy is Oh my god. Playing games that operate in 360 degrees is really weird sometimes. Okay. Same turns red, they are in range of your guns. Oh, is that what it is? But that guy, that guy's name is red. Well, that air defense guy is in red. I'm very confused. Whoop! Oh. So confused.
Okay. Wow. Ow. That hurts. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't know who you're shooting at me. Go no away. Please. Ow. Yep. That hurt. Oh, he has the same. Wait, is that the same one as me? I think so. Range, not name. Huh. Oh, range. Okay. Neat. Seven. Seven what? Question. If on reduced health, is it worth dying before spawn line so you can respawn? Yes. Uh. <laughs> that guy was like, is that tragic loss? Is that tragic loss? Then he almost exploded with excitement. <laughs> is this a pregame? Yes, it is. She's the leaf in the wind. I am. Dude, this, this, this little plane is amazing. I love it. I'm loving it so much. Rocket packs that never run out. So, Mr. Hanky, uh, with the new update, uh, rockets and bombs, they all respawn. So, as time goes on, you have uh, a timer that once you uh, expel all of your bombs and rockets, uh, they'll start to regenerate, and then once it fully regenerates, you get all of your bombs and whatnot back. So, once his range is red, I can shoot him. I said range, right? I said range! I'm waiting for it to turn red! Receiving ah, reports okay. about rapidly deteriorating weather now. conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Oh. Apparently I'm a grade 3 fighter. Does that mean... I also love how long it takes for these to overheat. Sinclair, I'm coming for you. I do not want that to happen. That's it. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. Oh wow, that guy is way high up. Can't do nothing. They've almost got us. Capture another base. Target. I tried. Oh, I did pretty good that round. What did I do? Flying start. 75 cap. Ooh. Cool. Nice. Dude, this plane turns so good. I love this one. Turn on your cloaking device. I'll try. 14 freaking thousand. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, morbid! Yeah! Alright. Everybody's adding me on. Yeah! Look at all my friends, guys! Oh, RG! RG is adding me. Oh, and Snickerdoodle! Snickerdoodle, I love your name. Dude. <laughs> oh, see? This, this is such a good plane. Like, look at me and this guy. This guy did uh, better than I did, though. 
Congrats, though, Diesel Tech. Good job. I'm proud of you. <gasps> yes, I'll flight. I'll flight. Wait, uh, I'm flight to flight. Neat. Ooh. Yay! All right, let's do this. Okay. Uh, yes. This plane is ridiculous, dude. It is so much. F it is so much more fun. Better luck to next battle, tragic. Thank you, Ricky. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, I haven't figured it out. Is there friendly fire? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't tested it out. Okay, but thank you for the uh, tip, Snickerdoodle. I really appreciate it. I'm like slowly figuring this game out. Like I've played some battles uh, in the new mode, as you guys have seen. But it's really, like, I liked starting at low tiers and making my way back up. No, just friendly ram damage. Oh, okay. Like, there are definitely, there's definitely going to be people who like the new, like the new uh, version of World of Warplanes. And there's definitely going to be people who don't like it. Do and don't. Both. Um. I personally like it. I love it. Attention! You are entering the zone controlled by the enemy. Okay. Uh... Coolio. Show me what you can do, pilot. So we're Let's gonna roll. defend this one, and we're also gonna go kill a bunch of the flying things. I mean, you can use this. Uh, this game with a controller so like there's not a huge difference between playing this game on PC and playing it on uh, a console like you can play with a controller is this it? Like, I have a hundred hit points, dude. Like, that's nothing to work with. Anyways, this will be the last battle, guys. Uh, it is almost five o'clock, and I wanna, I wanna make my uh, way home eventually. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Project Valor, mostly because I think it is amazing. I think it's a great thing that we're doing. Um, basically what's going on is, uh, we have what's called Project Valor going on, and Project Valor is, uh, we've done a bunch of, um, charities over the course of this year, uh, actually within the last five months, I believe, but basically this month is Save USS Texas. If you guys don't know what USS Texas is, it is the oldest dreadnought, and I believe it is the only one left. And so, die. Come on. And basically, it is currently in dock, and it is sinking. And so, it needs repairs, or it needs to be in dry dock. And basically, there is not currently enough to put this in dry dock currently. And so we are helping raise money to help keep the ship up. Where's, where's this guy? Where are these guys? Where are these red guys? I said they're over here. Are they over there? No. Over here. But I don't see them. Oh, they're way up there. Oh, oh, okay. My rocket boosts in Fairfield. Interesting. Okay. Well, a rocket has reached the target. Enemy objects damaged. Air supremacy achieved. Oh, this guy's so high up. Look at how high up 
he is. Like, he's genuinely, like, just ridiculously high up right now. This guy's just, like, climbing and climbing. He'll be an ascended just like going up and up and up. What is he doing? Keep it up. Victory is almost ours. Man, I cannot keep up with someone that can go that high up. next game. Unfortunately, I can't mostly because the stream is now over. I'm going to be saying goodbye to you guys. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys had an awesome time watching the stream. I know some of you are like, oh man, War of the Warplanes, it's coming back. Yes. Yes, it is. And I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, like, genuinely. Uh, let's see. I've never played this game, but are tier 10 fighter jet planes. Yes. If I if I want, I'm gonna answer your question. <coughs> uh, you miss World of Warplanes, dude. You should definitely get on and play. All right, I'm gonna add the rest of the people who have asked. Um, uh, any more other questions, Joe Lindsay? It was a pleasure to meet you. Well, it is a pleasure to have you in the stream. Thank you for joining. Um, anyways, I believe that's it. Uh, for uh, Project Valor, definitely check out uh, the Project Valor flags and emblems for World of Warships, World of Warplanes, and World of Tanks. Uh, it, every dollar helps. Uh, currently, World of Warships ha has raised 100,000. Even EU has hopped in on it, and I believe they've raised about 50k uh, in uh, US er, sorry, not US dollars, 100k in UK dollars. I'm, I'm not very worldly, as you guys know. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys had a fun time. I won't be here tomorrow because I will be in Burbank for the WGLNA Finals. If you're in Burbank or nearby Burbank, I highly recommend that you attend them. Uh, there is a link somewhere on the World of Tanks uh, homepage, I believe. You should definitely check that out. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to go home. I'm very cold, and I kind of want a nap. Bye guys, I will see you all next week. <laughs>